Hi folks, Neil from ECS Coffee. Today we're gonna unbox and show the new DeLonghi Stilosa. Stylosa, I'm not sure how you say it, but anyway, in Canada, it is known as the EC260BK. Made in China, very entry level machine from DeLonghi, but for some people, that's all they need. So let's give it a quick unboxing, see what's in it. We'll go over the features pretty quickly on this guy. So nice and easy, blue box, very exciting. So first we have ourselves here, a welcome to the DeLonghi family, looks like information book, and I'm just gonna tip this on its side to get it out. Or drop things. And off we go. So we will take the box, drop her down here. And as with anything at ECS, we do have uh, most of our machines running for you to try if you ever wanna try them out. You can come by our showroom, including this guy here. So if you actually wanna see what you can get for a very entry level machine for your kitchen counter. This is probably for somebody that's not drinking espresso every day um, or has a limited budget. Uh, it can work if you're drinking every day, it's, it's, it's good enough, but what you'll probably find is if you're getting to be a real serious espresso drinker, you're gonna wanna move up the ranks um, into something else because you do not have a grinder with this. So you're gonna be buying uh, pre-ground coffee or you're gonna be getting a ground, um, you have to buy a grinder as well. So, all right, so very, very straightforward. It looks like we have our porta filter here. It comes inside the box, and that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. So let's just have a look-see. Oh, here we go. We've got our scoop and plastic tamper. So plastic tamper to tamp your coffee with. And we've got our basket here. And these guys can also do ESE pods as well. So for those that do not want to actually get ground coffee, you can buy these ESC coffee pods and forgive this tape, we have this one taped up here somewhere, but um, if you're ever looking for coffee pods for your espresso machine, this really goes for any espresso machine that can take ESE pods. There's a lot of pods on the market. Make sure you're getting the ones with a little tab. You can see a little tab there. Uh, make sure you ones with the little tab. They're a little smaller. There are pods that look like a, a bigger bag. They're not for your espresso machine. They're just called coffee pods. These are ESE, which stands for Easy Serve espresso. So that's what you want to get for, for this machine here. So we're going to uh, fill it up with water, uh, turn it on and make ourselves a shot and kind of see how it works. What I can tell you it is, and I'm going to use the, the technical terms here, it is uh, 8 by 13 and a half by 11.22 inches and it's a 33 ounce water tank. So not very big, but uh, that's the trick. Looks like it pops out here, fill it with water and off you go. So we're gonna, uh, the machine comes with a, a single and a double uh, shot basket, uh, pressurized baskets. If you're using the ESE pod, like I said with a little tab, you would put it into your porta filter um, with a single and put it in like that. That's pretty much how it would work. We're gonna use the double because I always like using the double. So I have already pre-ground our espresso um, to the espresso grind, which is fine. Um, this is something you have to play with with this machine because uh, I'm just kind of going with, with uh, the levels it's showing in the machine, but I'm gonna play with your grind and your amount. Uh, let's see how the, the actual shot comes out. Um, if you wanna zoom in here, Jack, on the, the, uh, the display panel, kind of show everything that we have. So we have basically in your off position, on means you're, you're getting ready to make your drink, and when it's ready to go, it means you're at temperature. If I turn to this cup button here, you can either get the espresso or the water. Uh, hot water comes out quite simply, actually. If I take my steam wand here, and I turn on the side here, and turn it on, we're gonna get, we're gonna get, we're gonna get water coming out the side. Just give it your hot water, just turn it off. Okay, so that's your hot water and it's also to be used for steam as well, which we do over on the steam function. So let's uh, see what kind of espresso we get out of this machine, because we are on and we're ready to go. Pop that in there like so. Let's see if we get a fast flow or a slow flow. And uh, it's only going to be activated until you have to turn it on to get to, to activate the espresso shot and off to shut it off. So let's see what we get. Hopefully I got the grind right. It does have a passive cup warmer on top. It is warm up here. Um, so you can preheat your cups. So it's going a little bit fast, which means I probably need a little more coffee and a little finer grind, but you get the idea how easy it is anyway. And off we go. So there you go, it's your espresso shot. Now let's see, this is relatively fresh coffee. I think we're using Balzac's today, but uh, not a terrible shot for an entry level machine. Let's give it a shot. Actually, it's not bad, not bad flavor, even though it, even though it did pour a little bit fast. So um, decent shot all around. Again, entry level machine. Um, probably not for the aficionado of, of espresso, but something that wants an, a nice, easy solution for that occasional espresso at home.
lower price point. So we're going to go on to uh, frothing some milk now. Um, haven't done it with this machine, and frankly, I'm terrible at frothing milk, mostly because I don't really drink frothy beverages that often, but uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, so now we're going to try froth some milk. Uh, we have switched over to our steam position. We're on and we're ready to go, so we're going to flip a little nozzle over here and see what we can do. Again, not my forte. I wish Rebecca was here or somebody else that could do this better than me because I'm not the best at this, but. We got some circular motion happening in here and uh, I'm not gonna do a major job on it. I just wanna show how easy it is to actually operate. Trying to do this while, while being able to show it to the camera is a little tough too, so. And we'll shut it off at that point and see what we got. And for all those on, on the, uh, the internet that say wipe this down, we always do in some of our other videos. Um, sometimes you just don't see it on camera, but let's take that espresso sh shot we had before. We'll pour some milk in here and see what we got. See how good this is or how bad this is. And it's pretty much just hot milk, but got a bit of froth on there. Drop a shot in the top. And there we go. Not too bad for a nice entry level machine. So uh, again, this is the new DeLonghi Stelosa. Did I say that right? Stelosa. The new DeLonghi Stelosa. Nice, easy entry level machine, small on your countertop, pretty good bang for your buck. It does all the necessary things. And with some practice, uh, you'd probably find that you'll have this machine. And if you use it quite a bit, you'll probably move up to another machine afterwards. Um, this is a really nice entry level machine to get for your counter. If you want to have the occasional cappuccino or you just want to start getting into, into the manual mode yourself. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. If you like what you saw, subscribe below. Any questions, please ask. Remember to come by our stores. If you are in Ontario, um, in Burlington or Ancaster, you can play with all these machines with us. We'll show you everything. Um, you can always order online from us, too. So next time, take care.